Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's that time again for Classic Album of the Week. Again, this album is quite special to me because it started, it was one of the main albums that started me on my rock journey when I was younger. Um, it had a guitar style that is completely all on its own. The guy is an absolute monster of a guitar player, but in a different way than you would think of an Angus Young or a Blackmore or like a Van Halen style guitar player. Classic album of the week is Dire Straits, Dire Straits. This album was their debut, 1978. It's the classic lineup of Mark Knopfler, uh, his brother, David Knopfler, John Ilsley, and the awesome Pick Withers. We have Down to the Waterline, Water of Love, Setting Me Up, Six Blade Knife, which is a cracking little track, very underrated track that, Southbound Again, the amazing and the legendary Sultans of Swing, Wild West End and Lions. Now, Sultans of Swing makes this album. For me, it's a, sort of, it's a sort of song that if you're not really into guitar playing, or you're not really too fussed about how technical something is, or you just want to, as a feel good song, it's great. The lyrics are great. He doesn't really sing, he never really sings, actually. He kind of tells a story as he's sort of singing, talking. This is, it, Mark Knopfler's a very odd one in that sense. He's got a beautiful, beautiful singing voice. But he, he, he doesn't really push his voice ever. It's just, a, you know, when you hear him, you know. And also, with this song, like, songs like Sultans of Swing, they're enough for any, you know, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or advanced guitar player to sit back and go, wow, well that's, that's awesome. And it'll take you a long time to learn it because there's so many tricky little licks and and uh, and the solo is really, really well put together. And he has a sound like no other because, you know, he's playing with his fingers and it has a whole other tone. So you go and try and recreate this, you have to change the style of the way that you're playing the guitar because it won't sound like this. You cannot replicate this with a pick. I've tried, it doesn't work. This album set them up really for the big time. They had six studio albums, five, six, six, five, six, might be wrong, but if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. And a monster of a live album in between these. Um, we never, ever put a foot wrong. I mean, this for me, by far their best album. You did have, I mean, but then saying that, Communique is good, uh, Brothers in Arms is good. Making movies, I mean, with Romeo and Juliet, fantastic. But if we've got to go for the classic album, their absolute stone cold classic, and something that really cemented this band in everyone's hearts. It's got to be this one. I mean, Brothers in Arms, MTV Generation, made them absolutely ginormous. Um, I'm not sure the amount the amount of days or nights they filled out the Wembley Stadium. So maybe someone will drop that in the comment section. But I know at the time it set a record. Um, I think that was around the Brothers in Arms time, um, or possibly a little bit before. So maybe someone could. Uh, educate me on that one um, and throughout all the albums they never really dropped a clanger should we say um, they've never been a fashionable band and I think that kind of in a way hurt them because I mean they weren't the best looking bunch of guys they also weren't the best stage you know they didn't have the best stage show um, they weren't you know jumping all around the stage you know scream with screaming guitars and like flicking sticks about on the drums they didn't leave a huge rock and roll lifestyle that was all in all in the news all of the time they were sort of like a, a middle class English rock band um, <laughs> that uh, really sort of was kind of different than the, the than the other rock bands that had come from different areas of the country um, and was almost sort of in the sort of vein of you know trying to get out of something and these really are very very different but again this started my journey Dire Straits and Deep Purple were sort of my two main influences when I was only like seven or eight years old and this album I remember very very specifically and again any album of the week classic album of the week has to be an absolute classic something that i would go nine out of ten minimum and this without a doubt is the one classic album of the week dire straits dire straits on 1978 hope you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe if you want to comment on the video or if you like any of the albums they did, drop it in the comment section. And if anyone knows the answer to the uh, how many times they headlined Wembley Stadium, if you could drop that in there or I'll just Google it later and uh, I'll catch you on the next video.